Have you ever wondered what computer science is and how it's used? How about how code works? Have you ever thought that you might want to learn how to code or maybe that code isn't for you? Today, I'm going to answer all of these questions and more. Hi, my name is Allie and I am a computer science student in the University of Michigan College of Engineering. I am originally from Milton, Georgia, but have been a Michigan fan my entire life. When I was in high school, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life or study in college. But what I did know was that I wanted to make the world a better place and have an impact on my community. I wanted to solve problems that helped people. I always loved technology growing up. Once I heard about how you can create tech with code, I was excited to learn more. After taking some classes at my high school and teaching myself outside of school, I loved how coding felt like solving a puzzle. Coding is when you give instructions to a computer to do a specific task. Okay, maybe not like that. Maybe more like make something. Code is the instructions you write to the computer, and they are written in a computer language that computers understand. Some of these languages are Java, Python, and C. You might also hear coding called software engineering or computer programming. For example, I'm a programmer and I want the computer to show me a message. I will write in the Python language to instruct the computer, then the computer will follow my instruction and show me, hello Allie. Many websites, apps, devices, and games use code. Can you think of some examples of what uses code? Maybe you've used an iPad or an iPhone before. Code creates everything you see and use on an iPhone or iPad. What's your favorite thing to do on an iPhone or iPad? That happens because of code. One reason I wanted to study computer science is because I knew I could create solutions to big problems with code. With code, you can make the world a better place. You can make the world more accessible for people with disabilities. You can be like Skuo, a company that created a wheelchair that can climb stairs using robotics. You can help people that are sick by creating healthcare technology. The Apple Watch monitors heart rates and can detect signs of health issues. You can help people all around the world learn by making education technology. You can create a platform like Kahoot, a game-based educational platform used by 50 million people per month. You can help solve climate change. SkySpecs, an Ann Arbor company, is using code and autonomous drones to inspect and help the renewable energy industry. There are so many opportunities for young people interested in computer science. Last year, I spent the summer interning at Microsoft in Seattle and got to work on a real Microsoft product as a college freshman. In my time at school and in internships, I've had the chance to work on artificial intelligence, machine learning, user interfaces, and accessibility. Right now, there are more job openings in computer science than people to fill them. 67% of all new STEM jobs are in computing, but only 11% of STEM grads study computer science. And of them, women only earn 18% of computer science bachelor's degrees in the United States. The bottom line is, we need more women in computer science. Are you wondering how you can start learning to code? There are some great free online resources you can use to learn. On code.org, kids in kindergarten through high school can go through lessons for free. There are also resources for people beyond high school or if you want to learn more advanced material. Finally, remember that anyone can learn to code. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.